For decades, the tea plant Camellia sinensis has thrived in the Chivase tea state, which is situated in the fertile foothills of the Sochbansberg Mountains in South Africa's Limpopo province. Now a novel pilot plant has been commissioned on Chivase to investigate ways to boost the local economy in the region through the production of botanical extracts from tea crop. The CSIR, the Limpopo Department of Agriculture and the Department of Science and Technology are collaborating to investigate and do pilot studies with value-added products based on these extracts. This collaboration includes the University of Venda and technical partners, including Herbs Aplenty and Vinco Steel. The CSIR's Bernadette Brown leads the CSIR team, which combines experience and skills in enterprise creation with expert knowledge of botany and chemistry to support the pilot plant. The purpose is twofold. We set up the pilot as a field laboratory for the production of tea extracts made from uh, Camellia sinensis tea and the second purpose is to test that product in the market. We don't yet know how marketable the extract is. That is the purpose of actually setting up the pilot and producing the extract and that is the product that we will then take to the market to see what is the interest and what is the, the pricing that, that we could achieve. The extracts are used in several types of products such as uh, beverages, types of tea, um, it can also be used for production of nutraceuticals or for cosmetics. We will do a full feasibility study using the data generated from this pilot facility and we will then do a model to see whether the, a, a business based on a full-scale production of tea extracts will be feasible or not. And only then will we be able to, to uh, give an indication or we will get an indication of, um, of will, will a full-scale facility be set up. Professor Edward Nisamvuni of the University of Venda was instrumental in making the tea extract project possible and this university is expected to play a major role in collaborative research projects associated with the pilot extract facility in future. The genesis of this uh, botanical extracts project um, started uh, about three years back and that was after government revitalized the tea estate at Chivasa in Mkumbani, which is the northern tea estate. And uh, the project, when it was revitalized, it was felt that for it to be competitive, we need to have a value addition mechanisms in the project. So currently the project is producing black tea, um, which is um, packaged um, in the brand Midi Tea, together with the, the imported rooibos tea from the Northern Cape, which is packaged there in the estate factory. But for purposes of diversification, it was then felt three years back that we need to look into other products um, to maximize the potential that the tea as an estate will have and to also to improve its competitiveness. So the Department of Science and Technology, working very closely with the CSIR, um, then funded this project, um, which is now at a pilot stage. And in the province, the issue of employment and particularly growth of our economy, it was at the center and continues to be in the center. So this pilot is also um, part to enhance that goal by the provincial government to improve employment of our people, especially in the region, here in the Wembe district and beyond. Work on the pilot facility started in 2012 and was completed in 2014. The facility incorporates a mix of local and international technologies and includes several processing steps. These include tea brewing, filtration, concentration and drying. Run by trained operators, the routine production of tea extracts commenced in September 2014. Together with an experimental program designed to generate technical data and marketable products. Topis Topham is the general manager of Chivase Tea Estates. The benefit for the direct community surrounding the estates is vast because there is no other industry like the tea estate that employ huge amounts of people. What I enjoy the most about the 
extraction plant is that there is, uh, it will give us uh, something else to look at as an end product uh, where we are used to a, a black tea. So it is, it will be very interesting to, to know what will become after all the experiments have been done. According to Bernadette Brown, the technical and commercial know-how generated is valuable intellectual property that will provide a full-scale enterprise with a competitive edge in the market for tea extracts. Should a large-scale business be deemed viable, an enterprise creation phase is envisaged within the next three to five years.